What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. I'm going to pause this real quick. I uh, just want to do a quick video. I know I've been a little uh, inactive. I'm sorry guys. I'll have a bunch of videos coming out real shortly. Uh, two things happened. Number one, my mic had some major issues due to uh, the cord not working. And number two, um, yeah, number two, I've been really busy with some family stuff. So I've been taking care of that. It's been very important. I've had to handle it. And we are going to be back to making daily uploads. So stay tuned for that. Be excited. Here is an epic epic dark elixir steel now i'm hunting dark so let's go ahead and concentrate on it you saw i took out the archer the wizard and the mortar on the right hand side in the bottom and then i just focused on that nice little dark elixir drill on the left side now the question is where are we going to drop our troops in order to take out as much dark elixir as possible especially since the dark elixir is not only in this corner which i have one or two goblins working on look how fast they're wrecking that with just two goblins and we do have to worry about getting this one right here and then we're going to wall break in there right now actually and we got to worry about that top over here. So that'll be the difficult one. Hopefully we can get the wind too. It looks like they got a little bit of dark possibly in that clan castle. I wonder if we can get that. And maybe the town hall. Let's see if we get lucky here. Definitely trying to get the wind too because it's an extra 1200 dark elixir. Um, so that's extremely key. Being in champions helps a lot with that. And you can see here my wizard. Oh my god. No. Not wizards. Excuse me. My goblins are having a hard time getting through with that wall breaker. But they manage. We get the gold storage. And now it's time to focus on the rest of this base. So we're going to spread our troops out and get going. Now, I am using golems with this Garch, which is really strange. I started using it because I wanted to see if it would be easier. And it isn't any easier, really, than the normal Garch. It is a little different, though, on what kind of bases you can attack with it, which is kind of cool. So I dropped a golem down in front of my queen and let her go to work. And it's really interesting because with that golem in front of the queen, your queen can do a lot more damage, especially since it does blow up big bombs when it goes through walls. So that is the perk of it. So it's easy to go through walls with Garch at this point when you have a double golem. Um, however, it isn't any different at winning. Oh man, my king just died. That was rough. Wow, did you guys see that? Super bad news there, sorry. Doing this live, and as you can see, we're going to do one live attack for you guys in a second here. Hopefully you guys, actually, no, I might not be able to because I'm kind of high up. But we'll see if we can find one fast. Um, otherwise, we'll just go ahead and cut it. But here we go. Queen's on that Dark Elixir, and she is taking it all. Getting that Clan Castle. Let's hope we can get rid of this uh, Inferno Tower here. Looks like, whoa, we might be able to with the Invis. Unfortunately, the Queen goes the wrong direction here, and now she is wasting her time, and it looks like we might not be able to get to this Town Hall. And that is a shame, because we are doing so well, guys. We got 55%, doing really, really well here. The Queen is taking some heavy hits from that Expo, and, oh, man, unfortunately, the Queen is going to get taken out, guys. We do not get the Town Hall. That is just too bad. Although we did have one lightning spell left over. So a pretty solid raid overall. Definitely thought it was pretty good in my opinion. So I dropped that one lightning spell for the purposes of the video. Uh, 150,000 one of each plus the 180,000 bonus. And of course 4,200 dark elixir. Which comes out to about like 5,500 dark when you uh, count the bonus. Which is really epic. And you can see I'm actually working on my heroes real soon. That's why I'm dropping out of chance because I am winning. I win a lot with this force actually. Uh, I did lose one here. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was just really tired. I got 46%. But you can see here I two-starred this guy. I'll show you that one in a second. But look how his wins. Like, honestly, it's these are some of pure Garches. Some are Garch with Golems. Uh, most of these are actually with Golems. You can see here 52% without Golems. Uh, 57. Yeah, just doing pretty solid. Only have one loss on the board. And this is all up in Champions. So definitely impressive. Let's show this two-star and see what happened here. And then we will... Oh, this base. Yeah, this base is awesome. So, guys, the cool thing is with this kind of base... It's always offset on where the wizards and mortars are. So one side of the base is super weak, which allows you, even though it's a trap base, to actually take care of business, as you might say, with Garch. Now, I'm dropping these lightning spells, trying to do as much damage to everything as possible. Obviously getting rid of that wizard and mortar. I'm only bringing four lightning and one rage. The reason I bring the rage is to help the golems um, and obviously the heroes. So here goes my heroes. Here goes the golems while breaking in, trying to get through this wall just so I can... Uh, hopefully get rid of any big bombs in this left side here and that's what i'm really worried about now as you can see hopefully this king doesn't take too many hits oh man okay big bombs right there gonna lose a bunch of archers but that's the good thing is all these other archers are safe now look at that now i'm gonna drop the rage spell any second there we go and unfortunately guys it looks like we're gonna hit a big bomb on the left here oh my god no but right here, small bomb we got lucky guys we got real lucky and here we go Working our way, and now we're double fingering using. Well, that sounded really wrong. <laughs> we're using two fingers to actually get these archers into the base, guys. And uh, 
We are definitely doing work here. Town Hall is ours. Boom, there it goes. 44%. The Queen's completely uninjured, and these archers are all going to die due to that multi-target, but that's okay, guys. We got a goal in front of our Queen, and we're going to do some work. Now, I do have some archers left over there just chilling on the outside, shooting walls, which is useless, of course, but we're going to get the easy 50%. There it is. And a very solid raid, 393,000 gold plus the bonus. That's about 6, 600,000 gold in this battle and about like 2,500 dark. So that's what I'm going for. I don't care about elixir at all. I'll be honest, I just don't care. Now, I let my troops fight this one out even though it killed my queen uh, just because I was curious on what would happen. And I wanted to see how my archers would do. Now, my archers do waste their time here and they do get killed by that wizard. So that's unfortunate, but we did get a very nice hull, as you saw, plus 10 trophies for a 2-star, which is always impressive with Tier 1 troops. And, of course, I had Golem, so yeah, I know, guys. We know. I already tell you we're using that. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead, and uh, we are going to attack one time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, though. Stay tuned for the next episode, and I will definitely be seeing you guys then. I am, of course, always looking to do more videos. I uh, just wanted to have some fun with this just because I've been doing a lot of serious stuff in life and I want to go ahead and, uh, oh, look at that, 29 trophies. If I was pushing, I'd definitely go for it. And no point, not enough loot. Let's go for some loot, right, guys? We want to see some heavy loot. 25 trophies, not bad. These are pretty good finds, though, guys. Not going to lie, very nice finds. Definitely wish I was finding these when I was pushing because I'm just not, they're hard to find sometimes. They're always hard to find when you don't need them and then when you need them, they're like, where'd they go? I said that wrong. <laughs> anyway. Hard to talk while doing this. Let's see if we can find one any second now. What are we looking for? We got no loot showing up here, guys. None at all. If I get a Town Hall Snipe, I'll be happy with that, too. Just because, obviously, with Town Hall Snipe, uh, it'd be really easy to get the free loot just because it's 180k of each. I'm going to cut it here, guys, it looks like. If I don't get something in the next three clicks, one. If I don't get something, I'm going to cut it. But <clears throat> I'm hoping we can get it here, Two, One more, guys. Let's see. Oh, I could take an easy win there. Wow, guys. I wish I should. Oh, I'm tempted to show you. And uh, one more for good luck. Nope, we're going to cut it. I'll see you guys in a second, okay? All right, guys, we're back, and I accidentally didn't record properly when I was uh, raiding. So I'm just going to show you the raid I did right after I cut it. And here we go. Now, dropping the lightning down, you can see his base. I'm trying to take that mortar and wizard out, and I'm going to take the... Yeah, that's all I'm going to take out, actually. So I'm weakening that corner of the base because... It is obviously the easiest way to get into the base and get to that town hall. And that's what I'm looking for, to be honest. I'm looking for a town hall kill because I'm not going to circle the base. So if I can get a town hall snipe uh, from the center, obviously, that would be pretty nice. And I only have one golem with me, so kind of a strange force. It's pretty much regular garch, but I do have one golem and seven wall breakers with me. So that's going to be helpful. Let's go ahead and boost this up, though. As you can see, just drop in some archers real careful. Oh, wow, actually. You know what? I actually waited a really, really long time, so I'm just going to screw around. All right, so... Just to show how fast this raid actually can be done, I didn't do anything for quite a while here. And that's not the reason I actually didn't do anything. But um, anyway, so dropping the troops down finally. And at four times speed, let's get back to one time speed. And here we go. Now, of course, got some goblins going down, hunting that dark elixir. Got some archers going behind them to take out that wizard. And they're going to clean it up. Now, we got that much dark. So that's 600 dark. There's 4,200 dark on the board still, so let's go ahead and get hunting, guys. So I start spreading my archers around the base, and I drop my one golem down right there, and I throw the queen behind him, and the queen is going to do some work, but here comes the king, and as you can see, going to start wall breaking in here, mostly because I do want my king and golem to actually get into the center of the base, and I'm going to rage them very, very shortly. I do not want either of them dying too soon, so I'm going to be very careful in watching them. The archers I'm doing in spreads, and I'm making sure that the archers and goblins go in in small groups so that no one mortar shell can wreck them. And here we go. Now I'm going to pause it real quick right here. I floated a bunch of troops, and I used two fingers to make sure, or three fingers to make sure I get all my troops down the board fast once we broke in. And we're going to basically rush the center. So here we go. Goblins get in, wreck that dark elixir. And then, of course, our archers start dying, but we do get a town hall right here look at this the town hall is getting hit so we're gonna get that nice and easy uh queen starts to get injured so i go ahead and take it out with the invis and now the 50 percent is ours and we now own the board we still have a lightning spell left which we could have used if needed but we did not need it so a nice 50,000 of each is really nothing but that 4,600 dark is what we are hunting and it's what we got guys so hope you enjoyed stay tuned for the next one and i will see you guys in the next episode peace